Welcome to another video. Today it's another mini tutorial and if you recognise this jacket you will have seen it in this sew along which you can find up here which will take you through every single step of making this jacket from start to finish. However, I've been taking out different tips and techniques that I've been using in my tutorials and making them into these mini series. So today, this is going to be a video showing you how to machine finish your sleeve hem with a lining. So, let's get started. As I mentioned, I've also pressed up the hem allowance just so that I have that mem that crease there for, for um, when I come to actually hem the sleeves later. Okay, so I've done the same thing with my sleeve lining as I did with my sleeve. I've pressed up the hem prior to sewing the seam sleam together just because it's easier to do whilst it's flat. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut off a quarter of an inch off of the hem allowance allowed on the sleeve. If I remove this quarter of an inch and then sew that this new raw edge to the other raw edge then it will allow this this particular piece of the lining just to sit that little bit inside of the sleeve and not peek out. looks like a giant pile of glitter. Okay, so I have made my outer, I have made my lining. So the th next thing we wanna do is join it together all around the outside. So from just inside the side seam at the back all the way around to just inside the side seam at the other side, leaving this opening. So what you want to do is pin your lining, your, your main, main body of your jacket to your lining piece that you've finished all the way around the outside just leaving the back bottom edge open and make sure that you don't catch your sleeves in any of this stitching. So I'm going to stitch all the way around at 5 eighths of an inch. Okay so I've sewn all around the edge at 5 eighths of an inch and I have left the bottom open. So, the next thing that we need to do is finish off our sleeves. So I'm going to show you a trick and I'm going to put you back on the ironing board to show you how I do it. Right, so you've got your, what you want to do is take your sleeve, your lining sleeve, and put it through your main sleeve like that. And you want to do that for both of them. Okay. So, then got our sleeve here and we've got our like creases from where we pressed it before we sewed everything we sewed the, the sleeve seams together because uh, for the memory so what we want to do is make sure that our sleeve lining is not twisted in it anyway so I've got my sleeve seam there and my lining seam here and pull your lining out a little bit more so you can see it and fold it over on that crease and then you want to pin that to your sleeve like this. I'm going to make sure it's pinned nice and securely. So we've got our sleeve is not twisted in our shell and we have folded the seam allowance under on both of them and pinned it together. So now what you want to do, this is the second reason that we've left this big hole at the bottom, is you want to reach inside of your coat or your jacket, you want to reach inside and you want to grab your sleeve lining and pull it through gently because you don't want to, to dislodge that pin. And you're going to pull it through so that you get your jacket coming out as well. So pull, 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 but gently. And you should end up with 
those pin together like that. Now you want to do it that way so that you don't end up with any weird Mobius loops. Don't ask me how I know because I actually haven't made that mistake but it's very easy to do if you try and pin it from this side just like this. So it's always best to kind of pin it from the right way out and then readjust your pins. So what you want to do is grab hold of the sleeve and the lining where you've pinned it together and we're then going to remove that pin so that everything is lying nice and flat and then we're going to put the pin back in. So we are then going to go around the entirety of the sleeve and pin the raw edge of the sleeve lining up with the raw edge of the sleeve outer. So you're going to go around the whole way and pin those together. So you should end up with something that looks like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to sew this at 5 eighths of an inch the whole way around and you're going to put it under your presser foot so that you're sewing the two raw edges together but you're obviously not sewing any of the sleeve to each other. So I'm going to change the camera angle a bit and show you what I mean hopefully. This can get a bit tricky so you just want to take it nice and slow, be careful, you don't want to sew things together that should not be sewn together. You want to be able to use your sleeves. That is important. But this is very doable if you take it slowly. Right. So, 5 eighths of an inch. Back stitch at the beginning and end. And just maneuver things around as you sew. Okay, so trim all your seams, trim all your threads even. Okay, so once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks like this. So you've got the two sleeves are sewn together at the raw edge, but nothing's caught. So what you then want to do is reach inside of your jacket to your main seam. You want to go in, you want to grab around the cuff area and pull and that way you should have a beautifully finished and nicely usable and machine finished seam so because we took a quarter of an inch off of our sleeve lining beforehand as you can see this the see the the lining is sitting nicely back from the hem of our cuff you've got your lining sitting nicely recessed but there is still some wiggle room in there because uh, that's the fold line so there's still room for the jacket lining to move up and down which was what you want so I'm going to repeat the whole process and I'm going to show you as I go again because and the first time I, I, I found out a bit about this on the Sewaholic uh, Minoru Coat Sew Along and it took me ages to wrap my head around about what was going on but once you've done it once you can use it for loads of different applications so let's <laughs> do it again so we've got our sleeve lining nice and not twisted in our sleeve and what you want to do is pull the lining just further out past the, the sleeve and fold back along that crease mark that we made earlier when we were pressing things and then fold back the sleeve your outer sleeve and pin those together nice and securely So I had the lining and the sleeve pinned together with the seams pinned together and what I'm going to do now is reach up 
through the hole that we've left at the bottom of the jacket, grab hold of the lining and very gently pull it through to the wrong side. This fabric is not the most forgiving of fabrics. Be careful not to stick yourself with a pin, ask me how I know. So we end up with main fabric and lining pinned together at the middle. So what you then want to do is get the raw edges of your lining and raw edges of your sleeve and hold on to those together like that. And then go in and remove the pin and then pin the lining and the sleeve together along the raw edge and then go away all the way around and pin that in place. Okay, so have the sleeve and the sleeve lining right sides together with the raw edges matched and pinned all in place all the way around like that. So we're then gonna sew it 5 eighths of an inch all the way around to secure that down. And again, it's a bit tricky, but you can do it. Take it slowly, don't stab yourself with pins. Back stitch at the beginning and the end. As I said, it is it's a little bit of it's a little bit of maneuvering. It is a bit tricky, but go slow. And it's definitely doable. If I can do it, you can do it, definitely. <laughs> Trim my roots. Okay, so again, we have something that looks like this, all sewn together. So what you wanna do is reach in, put your arm down the sleeve, get hold of the cuff, pull that back through on itself and then give it all a nice little wiggle. Should work out. Get rid of threads. And there you go. You have a nicely finished cuff. So if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments section down below. I found out about this technique from the Sewaholic blog and it was the Minora Coat Sew Along and she, Tazia has done a really, really good job of photographing the process and showing you how to do it. But I'm, I have to admit the first few times that I tried, I was just like, say what now? <laughs> so I hope this video proves useful. I um, absolutely love this technique. I have nothing against hand sewing. I just, if I can, do it on machine I just feel it's much more secure that's just my personal takeaway from this so yeah I love I love this finishing method so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon bye